Hey there, uh, welcome to Pixels Refreshed. So recently there was a surprise trailer drop with Honor of Kings. Now I know this is like a huge MOBA um, all over the world. So I, I don't know, was this a game that you were familiar with beforehand? I, I've seen ads of it on like for, for as like a mobile game. I haven't actually played it myself. There's a whole so bunch of kind of mo for it, I think. So there's a whole bunch of mobile games that are just like completely under my radar, but they're the, yeah. some of the biggest games in the world, and that's yeah. always a crazy concept to me. But anyways, I I'm curious to see this. I'm pretty sure you it's an Unreal Unreal game. So yeah. which there seems to be a lot of uh, Tencent based studios taking advantage of the the work Epic's done on all of their Unreal tech and showing and, and really being at the forefront of games, like actual mm-hmm. games pushing that tech. And it gives, it does give a sense because of the tech superiority that's going on from Epic right now, it does give a sense of competence that are coming out of some of these studios that we haven't seen really from these regions historically. So mm-hmm. I, I think that there's a, a big push and there's a, obviously the advantages of what's going on Unreal are pretty amazing in terms of Nanite and uh, Lumen. And we're starting to see some games based on this. So I'm kind of excited to see what this looks like. I haven't watched any of this. So this is completely fresh for me. Have you watched any of this yet? I've seen certain screenshots and clips. That's about it. I haven't watched the entire thing myself. So. Okay. So you ready to go? Yeah. Let's check this out. Uh, full screen. The wispy text. Oh, that, that does look nice right off. <laughs> Those are some weird birds. Are they robot birds? The foliage looks really good. I mean, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a stylized foliage. Looks, looks really. Looks pretty good. Seems like there's some frame rate issues here. Is this? Oh, I saw it pop in with that. So maybe this is real time. Likely. Interesting. <laughs> that's like oh man i've seen it's like a lion mixed with like a behemoth from final fantasy yeah the running animations feel a bit weird to me but the monster animations are pretty good i don't know if it's the um you know, you just forgive designs that are really unhuman when they're animated. Yeah. Reflections are really nice. Yeah, that's that's probably. I don't know. The weird thing. Okay. Do you think that there's ever too many particles? I think this. Yeah. This is might... one of those cases. <laughs> It was just like getting hard to read what was going on. It's like, how many strikes of lightning do we need? It's so cool, though, actually. That's. Yeah. The motion blur is really nice. In terms of making things look realistic. So, this is interesting because it has a more stylized aesthetic than we've really seen. From UE5 so far, I think it's actually good because it covers up a lot of the the potential weirdness in how things can look. Those volumetric clouds are really nice. Yeah, <laughs> they're going nuts with particles. Yeah, I, I feel like I, I mean, if these are CPU based based particles, like I think they're probably going to be, then we're going to have a lot of computers chugging. <laughs> there's gonna be so many people with like quad cores and like throwing a 3080 or something in it and then just gonna be like why is it lagging <laughs> it's like it's like yeah your cpu is gonna have problems if, if they're not gpu accelerated particles volumetric clouds are really really well handled i i have to say overall this is very impressive i the the supernatural characters are reading better than the human character animations were for me so far. Mm-hmm. Decent overlap and follow through and stuff on the the whale. Oh, what are we gonna show after this? Couple, couple, couple more shots. Couple more shots. That moss. Like, the foliage looks really good, I would say. Uh, moss is pretty nice there. Yeah. See, like the density. This is extremely dense. There's 
something weird is the... I don't know if the frame rate's off with the cloth physics, but... It feels like some things are operating at half frame rate. Like the simulations over here. I, I think that the art direction, the volumetric fog looks really good here. This is cool. Like it's, I think it's just a little bit too many particles for me, though. I, Overall, I, though, it's very nice. I Okay, so their art direction is pretty good, but busy. Like, yeah. I feel like... Like, really, I feel like they could have had this and, like, some of the stuff around it and then just built that into the scene, but they, like, they have this, and they have this, and they have this, and they have this, and they have deer, and they have this. It's like... You can you can grab a couple of things and make it seem really beautiful. When you have everything, it just gets kind of distracting, right? Yeah. The the leaves are really well handled, though. Mm. Man, it's like that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Do you it's feel it's kinda, too busy? I I I would say so. I think it's just I think it's just too many particles for me. That's that's the, that's the issue. I just gotta see oh, this. Although it's very pretty. It's very pretty. I like the art direction a lot, other yeah. than I would I would let a scene composition speak for itself rather than like I guess just putting too much stuff in. I gotta see the character animation again as it runs into the scene. Because I feel like it's the weirdest part of the whole thing. It's just this scene when it runs in, it feels like there's something strange about it. I don't know. What are your thoughts it's, there? It's, 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 it's the dashing. It feels a bit off. I the know. dash, it, it doesn't feel like the speed of the movement matches the gesture. And it's like the running speed picks off right away at full speed, even though the character doesn't duck down right away. There's just a no. couple of things that I feel like could probably be... But then when you look at that, if you just focus on the monster, it looks great. I mean, a lot of it's like the the secondary animations with the fur and stuff look really nice. So yeah. when it it moves and stuff, the the physics simulations on that really turns out. And the splashes are actually really good with that. So I mean, this is the the biggest piece of gameplay they give us from this, um, and I think that there's some really impressive stuff there. It's like I don't feel like they have that much to tune. I feel like if they if they picked like dominant particles and then just calmed the rest down a little bit, and then if they like just focused a little bit more on human player animations i yeah. think that that would push this whole thing to next level i don't know you agree yeah i would say so yeah i, I mean the text there but uh i think the text pretty good okay so i mean that was honor of kings any final thoughts um i i I'm honestly i'm, I'm kind of interested in seeing what the story is for this game yeah i feel like most mobas don't really have much of a story and they're developing this into like an actual rpg type game so yeah, yeah. i'm excited to see how this goes it's an opportunity to flesh out the world a lot right and yeah. it's like they clearly have a lot of really talented developers and artists in their team mm -hmm. so i mean i would say that overall like this is much more impressive than monkey king um just from a, a visual coherence and consistency perspective yeah but like i'd say this is really really well done i'm curious to see what uh what comes of this or what kind of I, I does feel like it might murder quite a few computers because it doesn't seem like it's uh I mean I'm curious to see some of the scene transitions and stuff they showed if they're going to pre-render it or whatnot they'll be fine but if they kept those as real time in the game like there's a lot of potential bottlenecks and moving around that much <laughs> from storage to memory to CPU to GPU somewhere along the line something's going to get bottlenecked if you don't yeah, if you don't manage that properly, so I'm kind of curious. Other than super high end PCs, whether anything will run into any issues. Okay, right. uh, any last thoughts, thoughts, or anything? I think that's it. Okay, thank you so much for joining me, Graham. Uh, anyways, and thanks for watching Pixel Refresh. Feel free to click the like and the subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next one.